Hey guys, if you want to learn how to build your own CNC mill, check this video out. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what we're going to do today, we're going to unbox the um, ball screw conversion kit from Heavy Metal CNC. Uh, unfortunately, I had said I would put a link to their information in the comments, and it's been a while since I've checked in on them because this project's been sitting in my garage for a while, just due to life and um, just being very busy. So um, currently, their website's down, and I don't know if they're out of business or, you know, if you know. It, there's been different speculations, but my point is, hopefully we'll, the condition of this looks good because, you know, I didn't open it when I received it because I left it in the box. Um, I mean, it's okay. If we get in here, there's a problem, we'll figure it out. But, so let's do the unboxing on the heavy metal CNC ball screw conversion because you have got to have this to have uh, the smallest amount of backlash for the CNC to operate accurately. So, let's check it out. All right, hope you guys can see this. Oh, please let there be directions in one of these because the website's down. Hey, we're smart. We can figure it out, but directions would be super helpful. There's one, and I'll unpack each one of these as we move along. As you guys can see, we've got the heavy metal CNC boxes unpacked. So we've basically got a couple of pulleys with a belt. This is just bolts to bolt everything together. There's a few plates here, and I'm going to take a few pictures with this camera, and I'll put them up right here so you can get a better look. So we're gonna check everything out right here so you can see what we've got. Only a little, couple of quality things I can see here that the, the metal was thin or maybe the bolts weren't truly centered up when they drilled and tapped this. So you can see where the tap came through a little bit right there. Same thing with that screw. Granted, this is probably, it's really thin. May not matter. We'll see. Like I said, unfortunately, there's no directions. Uh, I'm going to try to get that lined up tomorrow. I cannot tell the exact orientation of some of this other than maybe trial and error, and I sure don't want to do that if I can help it. So the next thing we're going to do, we'll move you guys over here. You can see from the mill down here, sorry, shaking you guys a little bit. You can see that it came with a toolbox, of course the hand wheels, which we're not going to need once we convert it. Uh, I'm going to take this out and take a look and just see what's in here. There you go. That's the drawbar for the spindle, or for the uh, 
Yeah, for the spindle to load the tools in and out. Moth. Ah, manual. Oh, it's an adapter for the arbor. Like for a shell mill. And this is like for a drill press, like a Jacobs drill press adapter. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. That's a wrench probably to lock it so you can get tools in and out. Allen keys. This looks like a cover plate for something. We'll have to figure that out. Like I said, that, I think that goes on the spindle to hold the spindle so you can tighten the tools in and out. The bottom is like an R8, which I guess if you guys can see that it's got a taper down here and it's straight with a keyway. So that allows you to slide uh, tool holders up there, like whether it's a collet holder or, or whatever. Same thing here. This is a blank for a drill chuck, like a, like a, you know, like your drill press has a keyless chuck or a use a Jacobs key to get drills in and out. Okay, very cool. Let's see what this looks like. Here's the manual that came with it. Sorry, it's backwards for you guys. Now I'll fix that and edit. I did it on the face forward-facing camera. Different models, wiring diagram. Huh? How to pick it up? God, that looks sketchy. Huh. Yikes. I don't know if I'm going to do it like that. It's way too freaking heavy. For these little bitty freaking... Look at that. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. We'll see. Maybe when I take it apart to convert it to CNC, I'll use those to put the base up there. Because those are tiny, man. That... I mean, that's like a quarter 20 bolt on the end of that. It, there ain't no way that's... I'm gonna call bullshit on those little screws. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. Trial by fire, right? Okay. Well, at least there's a manual of some kind with that. All right, guys. Well, let the nightmare begin. Uh, we still have a lot to go through over here, but I just want to sort this first. Um, I really got to get more information on this. I read somewhere, maybe on LinkedIn or Reddit, I found a thread where, you know, they said the guy, Bruce, that used to run this company, maybe he got sick or there was a death in the family. So I'm not faulting the guy. I just wish he had something on his website, like directions if you previously purchased or something i'll call arizona c and say they might be able to help me i hate to call them because i didn't buy it from them it, it looks like an identical kit you know or very similar the couplers were a little different some of the mounting brackets were different um with any luck we'll be able to get it sorted out this week get this if i can get this part assembled and on the stand i'm gonna borrow an engine hoist from a neighbor um, i'd feel pretty good about it so at any rate i uh, hope y'all had a very merry christmas um, we'll keep working on this. I'll keep you guys in the loop right here with videos while I'm doing it. Um, like I said, next step is get information on this um, and get with my neighbor. He's I was going to buy an engine hoist, and he's like, no, mine sits all the time. I use it like once a year. So I'm going to borrow his engine hoist instead of buying one because I really don't have space in my garage for one. They're not that expensive in the bigger scheme of things. I think Harbor Freight's got them for like 400 bucks or something. But uh, at any rate... Have a happy new year. I hope these videos um, are helpful. I'll try to number them, like I said, where they're easy to find in the playlist in order. Um, and hope you enjoy the project. Thanks a lot.